everybody and welcome back to AutoCAD 3D Lectures with your instructor Elia Gindis. We are in chapter 2 and now in the third and final lesson 3. Uh, here we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to introduce any new commands but rather practice the ones you learned uh, by drawing two different uh, 3D models. The first one will look like this. Just a uh, basic table. Top, bottom, four legs. Second one will be a little bit more involved, really just a table with four legs, but also we have this chair here. This is the exploded view of it, but we're going to assemble that after drawing it. It'll be uh, back, bottom of the chair, the body of the chair, and then the legs. Kind of a roller office chair. And um, just to go over the environment real quick, uh, we still have the 3D modeling ribbon is at the top as you can see same toolbars nothing new nothing taken away and the command line and the cascading menus and of course the units are in architectural alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these now and uh, I'm gonna go through through it pretty quickly so just feel free to pause the instructional video whenever you need to and uh, try to recreate this on your own this uh, first one especially should be relatively easy uh, along the way, I'll show you some tips and tricks, uh, whatever comes to mind as I draw this, and do, do take note. So, for the first one, we are going to draw a rectangle, two rectangles, to start this off. And I stress this in my regular classes is that uh, don't worry about the sizing too much. Uh, at this point, I just want you to focus on the commands, but if you really need some sizing to work off, you can make this maybe 50 inches by 30 inches and make this 20 by 20. So we'll do that. So I'm going to start off with a rectangle, and uh, make a 50 by 30, as I said, there it is. We're going to extrude it to a height of 2, there it is, and uh, create the bottom one right away, and that'll be, as I said, 20 by 20, but you can make it whatever you want. 20 by 20 in this case, extrude it out to 2, there it is. Now um, I am going to switch this to wireframe and uh, match the colors up from the model that we're using here as a guide. And then I'm going to, as you may have guessed, 3D fill it. And I'm going to do all 8 corners and the sizing will be, let's to go with 4 okay and uh, we'll accept that so that's one done and we want to really do that to all of them so uh, 3D fill it again select corner, select corner and you see I'm in wireframe so it's easier to select the corners now these seem to be a little bit bigger but it really doesn't matter you can go with a large value All right, and uh, so we'll do finish these up and there they are repeat the command and do these guys and there they are so we got to some little corners now what we want to do is line these up and here's a trick that uh, I can think of that will help you a lot draw a line in wireframe from midpoint to midpoint and same thing here so now you have a frame of reference so you can now take this at the midpoint line it up with the midpoint there we go and then erase the guidelines so now they're lined up at least in these two planes if not the vertical but uh, the vertical is really easy we just rotate the UCS icon in the direction you want to go which will be around the uh, x-axis that's it and just you know using your ortho of course no snap needed go ahead and move this down say about there is fine you can eyeball it all right now let's go into top view and what we want to do is draw these legs so the best bet is to create the legs based at the center point of the radius that's a good trick here uh, let's go right here but um, since that's a little small radius, we're going to maybe move it a little bit this way, right there. 
you're just eyeballing it in this particular case. You can certainly make this far more rigorous. Now uh, we can mirror them right away, or we're going to go ahead and extrude them first because I want you to practice mirror 3D. So here's the extrude command. And go about this high, we can fix this later. We're going to match up some colors. And let's practice mirror 3D. Okay, I'm going to select this. We're going to mirror it over the YZ plane. I hope you see why. Select the point, and there it is. Then we're going to repeat the command, mirror it over the ZX plane this time, right in the midpoint here. There it is. Now the final step to finish this up is to just line things up here. Well, it looks pretty good here. Maybe our height's not quite the same as the old model, but it doesn't really matter. And now we just want to bring this down a little bit using ortho, of course, and maybe bring this up a little bit, eh, right about there. Let's uh, go back to 3D and shade, and yeah, it looks about the same. Maybe the legs aren't as long, but and the corners aren't quite the same, but uh, you got all the central ideas in there. So go ahead and pause and draw this on your own. And meantime, I'm going to go on to the next drawing so we can have enough time to squeeze this in. This is also uh, similar ideas, no new commands here. Um, we're going to start with the floor, the yellow part, and we're going to eyeball it to about that size. Extrude it out, uh, also by eyeball, say about this much, kind of match what we have, right? I'm going to match properties. And there's that part. Alright, let's go to top view and wireframe, which is always easier for some to do some things to do. And we're going to create the table. I'm also just eyeballing this because I really want you to focus on the commands, not so much the exact sizing. I'm gonna Fillet this with a radius of zero, and then poly edit it. All right, match some properties. Yeah, it's been p edited. I'm gonna match properties. And there it is. Go into 3D, or actually the other one for convenience. Extrude it out to some not too thick size, right about there. Okay. Actually, match properties one more time because that color disappears after you extrude it. Uh, the legs should be really simple, just rectangles. You know how to do this already. Extrude them out. I made mine a little bit bigger, doesn't really matter. Match properties. There it is. Now I'm going to line these guys up. We are going to assemble this desk right away, not wait till the end. There's one corner. And then we're going to copy that to picking the right corners here, right there. Copy him to that corner. And finally this guy to that corner. See, we missed that a little bit, so we're just going to fix it real quick. No big deal. You'll mess up a bunch of times. And there it is. Now we're going to move the whole desk. You know, we don't want it in an exploded view. We want it to actual positioning. So why don't we stick it right in the corner right here. See how I'm using O snaps to make sure everything's exactly where it's supposed to be. So let's shade. Looks great. So we just eliminated this part of the drawing. Right, just get rid of that. All right, the chair. Hopefully, this won't tip over. We can always put one more leg there. The chair is also pretty easy. We're just going to uh, create a rectangle 
for the bottom of it. Do a quick, uh, let's see, what is the distance here? Just a little frame of reference here. We'll do the distance between here and here, just so we know what we're dealing with. That looks like almost two. So we can do a fillet radius of, and if that's two, then let's do 0.25. To see if that's reasonable or not. Yeah, it looks reasonable. Maybe not as big. I've certainly been under evaluating this a little bit today. Then we're going to go ahead and extrude right there and then create a radius there. Yeah, a little bit different from what I have, but once again, it doesn't really matter as long as you get the idea. Copy it. I want to put that right there, very close. And get rid of him. And we want to raise him up now. So that would be a rotate 3D around the x-axis. Say somewhere right in the midpoint. And we'll do minus 70 degrees. There we go. Chair almost done. Now we have the body of the chair, you could say. Or this long, thin neck here. And extrude that out. A little bit thicker, but once again, doesn't really matter. Now, wireframe trick right here. Remember this line, line, move command, midpoint to midpoint. This is how you line things up in 3D. So, do take good note of what I'm just doing right here. There it is, lined up. Let's do that. Okay. On the home stretch here, now we got this guy which is the hub, I guess, of the legs. So we're going to create it right here. Extrude it out. I'm not going to not fill it quite yet. I want to do something else here. I want to create the legs. So I'm going to UCS, rotate around the Y axis, create a circle, a small one, extrude it out. Okay, almost done here with that. Let's put a uh, let's put a leg on so we can kind of rotate 3D everything. That is really easy to do, believe it or not. That is going to be. Yeah, I'll, I'll create it right next to it. That's going to be a circle. All yeah, right, about that size. Then I'm going to extrude it right about there. And then I'm going to rotate the UCS back around the y-axis because we need a copy of this. You can kind of see what I'm doing in a minute. There we go. And then I'm going to fill it. You guessed it. Fill it. And let's see. Uh, probably going to need to specify the exact size. So let's see. Fill it. Select the corner. Radius. Let's go with 0.2, just to see what that does. Mm, too big. Let's try it again. Select the corner. Radius will be 0.1. Ah, much better. OK. Let's repeat. Select that. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you create the wheel. All right, I'm going to position this guy somewhere over here. May want to line them up. So lining things up is using snap points and then maybe additional moving. So watch, I'm gonna line this up at the let's say uh, quadrant to center. Now that's not really lined up, but if you rotate the UCS around the y-axis and move this down a little bit using ortho of course I think you got it alright finally let's line all of that up with here okay now that may not be perfect yet but let's move it down a little bit maybe right there let's see it's hard to tell sometimes so you have to Rotate 3D. Oh, that looks good to me. 
All right, now we're gonna three D array, and sorry, I'm mistyping here. Three D array. Select the objects. Okay, we're gonna do a polar array. Select the number of items will be six. Full circle, yes. Center point will be center uh, at the top here, and the center at the bottom. And mm, that didn't work too well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try looking at it from here. We're gonna first of all reset the UCS to world. Let's try that again. Maybe we want to go to wireframe while we're at it. We're going to array. Okay, polar. Number of items, six. Rotate object, yes. Specify center point. One, two. There we go. Much better. If it doesn't try work the first time, just try it again. Do a little matching of colors here. Okay. And I guess the one last thing we do is just uh, make sure everything's lined up well by switching views. And it looks like this guy could really go up a little bit. Let's raise him up in plane. Switch to 3D. Okay, don't need uh, the old ones anymore. Let's uh, do a quick fillet on this guy here and here. Looks good. Maybe a little too much, who knows. And finally, let's line up the chair with the center point here. Beautiful. And then move the whole thing onto the yeah, right there is good then we can line it up by switching UCS again so we can go to the left that'll be around the x-axis and we're gonna go ahead and move these guys right into position probably a little too small but hey this is just a drawing exercise shade and there it is there's your chair complete it all right go ahead and pause practice this and you don't have to uh, stick to these exact sizing as you can see mine a little off here and there but the point is the exercise uh, the commands not the exact size we'll get a lot more precise later on all right go ahead and draw this all follow the uh, basic instructions I laid out earlier, and we'll see you in the next chapter. Thanks, bye.